everyone and welcome back to Sam and Max. If you remember from last time, we're sort of in a... I don't know how to say it. Come on, you flabby kids. Come get a whiff of what the stink is cooking. You guys love these as much as I do. What in the name of Betty Crocker's knickers have you been doing to my diner? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had just about all I can stand, you indolent waste of DNA! Say, you two wouldn't mind holding the fort while we go check out Stinky's secret passage, would you? Indolent? Who do you think keeps this diner afloat, old man? Great, thanks. I sure hope the Stinkies are able to work out their issues. Not me! Watching them argue is like dinner theater, only without the... Sweet mother of Watson and Crick gallivanting with Rosalind Franklin on a spiral staircase. Oh my, get in. <laughs> that, that's a lot of things. What are the things? Max? Yeah? I think we found the source of the Samulacra. Doggle-gangers. Whatever. Complete. <clears throat> what the heck is Girl Stinky doing down here? I don't know what that is, but it must be important. How can you tell? It's in the middle of the room. Diabolical masterminds always put their important stuff in the middle of the room. True. Okay. There's probably a way to make this microphone work for us, but how? I wonder what that glowing hand does. You have what you want. Now give them the air. Okay. Oh my 
my dear lord. <laughs> Max, look! Bosco Tech Clone Pod. This clone pod was manufactured by Mama Bosco. You probably should have guessed by the hot pants they're wearing. Mama sure does love a nicely turned Sam Gam. If Mama Bosco's the one controlling these clones, she's got a lot of explaining to do. Property of Hoover Dam. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative Sam clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. Yeah. <laughs> Clone cooker DNA input receptacle. Whoa! Yikes! Looks like our mysterious clone master doesn't want anyone messing with their cloning recipe. And we've seen that before, haven't we? He's back. Everything I'm gonna say. Can't seem to kick him down long enough. So there's three tunnels back here. Nice kitchen ad. You gotta love a mastermind who keeps the coffee flowing. Cloning facility status. Huh. You'd think a multi-bazillion dollar facility like this could afford something a little snazzier than a chintzy scrolly sign. Check it out, Max. Car tracks. Maybe there's gold at the end of this tunnel. Or rare deposits of can't get him. You're a strange little imp, Max. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so what's gonna happen if we go down here? Uh, are we there yet? We've been walking for nearly a decameter. I love your wacky made-up units of measurement, Max. I... Wait a minute, there's a light up ahead. Let's check it. Flying violin. Flying violin? Okay, anything else is gonna fly by? Bosco Tech? Shh, something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. Super Bowl. <clears throat> Mr. President, you're alive. I'm overjoyed. I can tell. Uh, that one. A seance? That's not exactly in your bailiwick now, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna stand right over here until I can shake off the memory of you saying bailiwick. You are sadly correct, sir. As a medium, I'm more of an extra small. But it's desperately important that we make contact with the missing Dr. Mama Bosco. Why? I would think it's obvious, sir. The Sam clones. Her hands are all over them. Yeah. Figuratively, sir. Oh, that's better. What happened to Mama Bosco? I'm not certain, sirs. I came here to investigate reports of illegal cloning activity, only to find Dr. Mama Bosco missing. I'm conducting a seance to bring her in for questioning. What are you doing here? Yeah, why aren't you back at the White House keeping that backstabbing Secretary of Health and Human Services away from my Cuban cigars? I'm here to investigate the rampaging Sam clones and their possible connection to the so-called Devil's Toy Box, sirs. What a kawinky dink! So are we! Yes, sirs. Quite the quinkin' ink. Are you going to take another shot at summoning Dr. Mama Bosco? Actually, sirs, I was thinking of leaving it to someone who specializes in weirdness. Larry King is here? I think he was talking about us. Oh. Yeah, because, uh, Super Bowl isn't really hey, interesting. Hey, if you're here and I'm here, who's running the country right now? I've taken the liberty of installing an amusing bobblehead figurine in the Oval Office. No one seems to have noticed. <laughs> Do you know anything about these Samulacra? Gogglegangers! According to the authorities, they're fanning out across the city in search of the remaining toys of power. Remaining? 
Yes, sirs. In the aftermath of the Salmon Mock incident, our crypto scientists estimate that there are only a few hundred TOPs extant, and they're scattered throughout the city. What will happen once the Sam clones gather all the toys? Nobody knows. A few experts believe that the person who created the clones will use the fully empowered Devil's Toy Box to psychically bring about a golden age of unity and harmony. That'd be an unexpected twist. But most of them concur that we'll likely be facing some sort of universal Armageddon scenario in which a horrific beast of unimaginable power reigns over the Earth and the living envy the dead. Okay. Stay loose, Superball. I always do, sirs. Harry, you're alive. Don't sound so disappointed. Ah, oh, don't be that way, Harry. You cheated me out of millions of dollars and trapped me in a killer sauna. How should I be? Sadder but wiser? Yeah, sadder but wiser. What do you know about these scary but twin dashing. stealing Sams? Nothing! You sure you want to stick with that answer? Yeah, isn't that your tunnel that connects directly to the big old cloning facility? That old thing? I haven't been down there in months. After Mama Bosco started using it to store crate loads of high-tech equipment, it kind of lost its rustic charm. Think he's telling the truth? Probably. Harry doesn't have the brains, brawn, or all-around competence to pull off a scheme like this. <clears throat> you know, I am standing right here. I'll take it as a compliment, Harry. What sorts of high-tech equipment was Mama Bosco storing in your hole? How should I know? She never tells me anything. How'd you get out of Skunk Ape's ship? I'm glad you asked. My incredible adventure began when I discovered a small crack in the back of my cell. Uh, second thought, never mind. Yeah. What's with the seance? Super Dense over there wants to summon Dr. Bosco back to the lab for questioning, but he doesn't know what he's doing. How so? It's so obvious that he can't make contact with the spirit realms. I mean, he can't even get in touch with my recently deceased relatives. Why don't you tell us about those recently departed relatives? Sorry, Sam. The memories too fresh. Fair enough. It's too fresh. What happened to Mama Bosco? I don't know. When I returned to the lab after my harrowing adventures on Skunkapi's ship, she was acting um, strange. Strange? Yes. She was distracted and wafted about the facility with an agitated nervousness that one would normally associate with a guilty conscience. You got all that from the way she was wafting? Well, that, and she gasped, Oh no! It's all my fault! Before she floated out of the building. No one's seen her since. So, you don't know where Mama Bosco is? Not a clue. That's why we're trying to hold a seance. To compel her to return. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? No. I wonder if we'll ever find out what Mama Bosco's dimensional destabilizer does. It's a device used to coerce a transient resonant integration pattern of the subquantum harmonic vibrational frequencies between this and adjoining dimensional membranes. Ow, my head hurts. I wonder if we'll ever find out what this dimensional destabilizer does. I hope it makes pie! Yeah, I'm with Max. I want pie. Wow, they're right. The camera really does add 10 pounds. So those clones have, what, five or six cameras on them? That doesn't even make the top 20 list of creepy things we've seen in the last two days. I'm not opening that. The last time we rifled through Mama Bosco's closet of spooky ghost clothes, Max got ectoplasm all over himself. Let's that down. Let's see. Whee! Oh, this is rich. You think that you have the spiritual chops to summon Mama Bosco? Hey, Sam's got more spiritualism in his pinky than the love child of the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa. Actually, I don't think I have a pinky finger, Max. Let's begin, sirs. Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong! 
The spirits have moved on. Sure they have. I knew you couldn't talk to the dead. Better luck next time, sirs. Let's try that again. Again? You're lucky I got nothing better to do tonight. Yeah, yeah, since your social calendar is usually so packed with nightclubs and supermodels. Very cutting, sir. Shall we begin? Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong! Okay. Oh, tough room. Let's try another one. Float like a liquored up chimpanzee. Spirits come out wherever you be! Super Bowl. Perhaps we should concentrate on the task at hand. Okay, how about this? Coffin-bound specters with bleaching white bones. Reach out and... Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong! I am completely and utterly confused. By banging that gong! Keep your eyes peeled, Max. Harry Moman! What? The spirits wish to speak to you. Oh, do they? And who, pray tell, wants to talk to me? Come on. Let's go. Your sainted mother! Very interesting. Especially considering that my mother just called me from a condo in Boca Raton. Oh, oh, tough room. Let's try. Harry, the spirits have returned. Let's try Elvis. Oh, really? And who is it this time? Elvis. Elvis Aaron Presley. Fat. <laughs> Elvis was a hero to most, but he never meant squat to me. Blasphemer. Okay, Harry, the. Oh. Your father! For your information, my father is currently doing a nickel in Sing Sing. Fine. Don't you mean Ponzi scheme? You heard me. Oh, tough room. Ghoulies and... Keep your eyes peeled, Max. Right. What a shamockery. Perhaps you could work together to concoct a more convincing seance. We were just getting around to doing that. You know, I'm not feeling psychically equipped to pull this off right now. Let's go look around for some more suspects. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to do this every time. I keep thinking Max has only got one toy on him, but he doesn't, he's got more. Future vision. I knew it! It's a miracle! Clicking on him. Wow, we make Super Bowl cry. That that's that's just unnerving. Oh, is it a I know it. It's a miracle. Super Bowl cries. Okay. Mind reading. Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. Uncle Morty. <laughs> Most people would be frightened to be tethered to an id-driven maniac with increasingly dangerous psychic abilities, but not me. And I'm absolutely not thinking this because Max is reading my mind right now. Really. I'm afraid the contents of my mind are classified, sirs. Well, that was odd. The penguin is in the paddock. Repeat, the penguin is in the paddock. Another ludicrous seance? I'm starting to get a little embarrassed for you. Well, that's ironic. Gentlemen. Harry, the spirits have re- Oh, re- One more 
she was born. Your Uncle Morty! Uncle Morty? Is it you? Talk to me, Uncle Morty! Talk to me! Yes, your Uncle Morty. He has something important to say. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. Hey! So, about Uncle Morty. Stop with the small talk. If this is a real seance, Uncle Morty will tell me the secret he took to his grave. More Harry. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear from my uncle. Yes, Uncle Morty. I can feel his presence coming closer. Morty M. Molman, you're Harry. I'm waiting to hear from my uncle. Harry, it's me, Uncle Morty. Really, Sam? That the best you can do? Talk to us, Morty. Super Bowl. Perhaps we should concentrate. Morty, Morty. Right. What a shamockery. Perhaps you could work together to concoct a more convincing seance. We were just getting around to doing that. You know, I'm not feeling. Okay, let's see if we can meet his again now. Mind reading. Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. Stupid Super Bowl can't even. Most people would be frightened to be, and I'm absolute. I'm afraid the contents of my mind are classified, sirs. Well, that was a. No, Madam Prime Minister, the President isn't ignoring you. He's just not that into you. Agent Butterball, please stop humming show tunes into the open channel. It's very unnerving. Okay, we're gonna head back down and go down to the other tunnel. <clears throat> so the well-constructed tunnel leads to Mama Bosco's. We know who uses magic like that. I wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out! Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. The first one. Well, here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. It's locked. Yeah, but at least there aren't a bicycle of Eldritch tentacles guarding it anymore. I don't think bicycle is the group word for tentacles, Max. Just a minute! Wait, you fool! Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. We've got some questions. Dr. Norrington and I could not give three rotten figs for your questions. We've got important work to do. Good day. I said good day, sir. Well, I never. Okay. It's a standard security panel, tricked out with hieroglyphics instead of numbers. I wonder what the key code is. Aha! Rats! I thought for sure it would spell out King Butt. I think Monsieur Paperweight's key code is going to be a little more sophisticated than that, Max. You mean more like Emperor Gluteus Maximus? No, I mean more like something we'll never, ever guess. Ever. Oh, what now? Get rid of them! 
you again? If we could just... We gotta get in there, Sam! Why? I mean, other than the generic amusement of antagonizing people. I think Mon Sewer Paperweight's mysterious boss, Dr. Norrington, is in there. And? And I need to thank him for helping me out against Salmon Mac. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. I don't think rubbing paper on that's going to accomplish anything. I don't think rubbing paper on that's going to... Father, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions, so I can get on with my pathetic excuse for a life. Okay, we leave for like 20 minutes. Hey, 20 hey minutes. Flint, what's shaking? Hiya, boys. Just putting the finishing touches on this whole girl stinky caper. Really? Well, no. But Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight, so I'm kind of winging it here. I've had you on retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed nay one, but two secret tunnels under my diner! Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guest, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Who's this Mr. S-Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? You lie! Um, Stinky didn't... See what I'm working... Maybe she doesn't know how these... I think you're right, man. Fine, but if I... All right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Well, you see, when I say I don't know what you're talking about, it means I'm confused. Not about that. About the cloning fa- Cloning facility? What are you talking about? No, 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 no! That's his line! Come on, Stinky. Don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive Sam cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay then, from the top. Who's this Mr. S mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. You, why? You heard me, Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Uh... You lousy liar! My birthday isn't for another five months! That's why it was going to be such a surprise! Is this true, Sam? Uh, it, it sure is. She'd already... I did. Oh, I... I can't believe you and Stinky were planning a party. Don't be a dolt, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to- Sounds convoluted. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake.
Nah, uh, I think I'll hold on to this for reasons that'll never adequately be explained. It's empty. After you left, I gathered them up and threw them to your chubby little lookalikes and picked them off during the feeding frenzy. Crafty and disturbing. The hallmarks of a Grandpa Stinky plan. Yep. Hey, Flint. I can't grab now. Nah, I think I'll hold on to this for reasons that'll never adequately be explained. Yep. It's empty. I don't think I want any toast from a device... Broking and buzzing impotently, just like she left my heart. time as usual leave a like and comment below just to let me know i'm doing all right and yeah i shall see you next time for more salmon max bye